Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Welcome to our video. Today's video is all about Twisby fountain pens. That's right. Yes. We are doing an introduction to Twisby and we're going to be talking a little bit about Twisby as a company and our connection to Twisby. There are different models right. and what makes them different. And then we're going to be doing another video with the actual nib and line comparison. We're excited to just dive right in um, about Twisby. And Twisby is really special to us here at Yoseka because they're actually the very first fountain pen that we brought in to right. Yoseka. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So this is back in 2017, 2018, when Yoseka Stationery was just a little baby. Right. And we didn't have a physical shop yet, but we were doing our pop-ups. That's right. And we knew nothing about fountain pens. Right. I will say it, I will be <laughs> honest. And Twisby were, was our very first fountain pen, yeah. and that's kind of like how we learned a lot right, about right. fountain pens was with Twisbees. So we have a deep appreciation to them. Yeah. And it was like your idea, right? Like what, how did you hear about Twisby in the first place? I usually look for Taiwanese brand and Twisby is one of them. That's true. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. They had a good reputation in the right. fountain pen world, so we thought it would be a good place to start. That's right. Uh, so yeah, Twisbees were our very first fountain pen back in 2018. We learned all about Twisbees along the way. A yeah. lot of it was like self-taught, and um, they quickly became definitely one of my personal fountain pen companies, and my affection for them has really only grown as I have added more Twisbees to my collection. And time and time again, you know, we have all these really fa fancy fountain pens but yeah. every time like Neil and I always say this every time we write with a Twisby it's just good like it's just good it's just like refreshingly good the flow of the pen is always good you know I highly recommend them a lot of the time to whoever visits our shop when they ask me about fountain pens I often recommend Twisbees to give you all a little history um, about Twisby you know we get a lot of questions Twisby is spelled T capital T W S B I right. and their name actually does have a meaning and I'm sure they get asked that all the time just like people ask us all the time like what does your second mean like what does your characters what does the three characters in your logo mean right, right, right. Twisby was uh, started as a OEM company. Right. Right. They were uh, making uh, different parts and not exactly stationary to begin with for um, European company. And uh, yeah. They started making pencils or pen for Japanese companies, and then they started. They had the idea to start their own uh, stationery. I might have to fact check. Uh, but but <laughs> the, the, the founder well, got found a nap and then thought the, the, the Chinese name San Wen Tang sounds very, very cool and uh, it resembles three rare treasure the hall. hall The Hall of the Three Rare Treasures From the Qing Dynasty Emperor Yeah, yeah Right, so that one is called San Xi Tang plus one is means like a culture kind of related to uh, writing. Mm. So taking the Roman sound of the three characters, San Wen Tang, uh, TWS, and then BI is pronounced B as in a writing utensil. Right. right. B actually means pen in yeah. Chinese. That was a lot of information. <laughs> and I mean, I like, I can relate to that. I was telling Neil, like, People ask us in the store all the time to explain our store name and our logo and the explanation is long because right. things get lost in translation but there is a story behind the name and yeah the name of Twisby in Chinese is just San Wen Tang and what Neil was saying was that the SWT is TWS in reverse so they decided to flip it and then the B means pen. Right. So it's kind of like a quirky little story and it is pronounced Twisby. People ask us sometimes in store if it's like T-W-S-B-I. Um, people are confused by how to say it, but it is Twisby. Um, and so Twisby has been making fountain pens 
since 2009. Like Neil was saying, they started off doing OEM, which meant they produced things for other companies. So they have like all this expertise and experience manufacturing like with plastics. Basically, yeah. so in 2009, they released their very first fountain pen, the Diamond 530, which is like a very early version of one of the models that they're best known for. And I think Twisby today has really evolved to be a company that's known for a few things. They make affordable pens that are well constructed and their customer service people know that their customer service is supposed to be very good they're very available with any right. questions or concerns that you have about a pen that you may have gotten from them and for the most part their fountain pens are piston fillers or at least their best known fountain pens are piston fillers and piston filler pens for those of you who don't know a piston filling fountain pen basically just has this little thing on the inside called the piston and so with Twisby's you twist this top bit over here and as you're twisting this is how you control the level of the piston and this action is actually how you suck the ink up from an ink bottle right. so the pens that Twisby are best known for are not cartridge converter pens at all but they're piston filling pens that um, take ink directly into their body. So that means that they have a really good ink capacity and they basically never dry out. So they're really low maintenance fountain pens. And that's another reason why I really am a big fan. They don't dry out even if you are, if you even if you ink this one up and like throw it in a drawer for five or six months. Yeah. And we kind of tested this because um, during the pandemic, right Neil? That's right. <laughs> uh, our shop was closed for yeah. at least six months. Yeah. Right, right. And Twisby was still right. <laughs> right, we yeah. we kind of neglected our pens a little bit. A lot of right, our tester right. pens, yeah. we weren't able to write with all of them consistently. Right. We brought them home with us, but then we kind of forgot to clean some of them out, to be honest. And we came back to our Twisby pens a little bit later on, a few months later, and lo and behold, they were like still writing. So right. Twisbys are great <laughs> because they just don't dry out, and I can personally attest to that. Right. Yeah. So without further ado, we are going to be talking more about the different models of the Twisby fountain pens. And I think people get confused about this because there are quite a few models. They're all mostly demonstrators for the most part, which right. means that they are clear. Their accents, like their trim and their clip pieces are very, very similar. So yeah. people get confused about these for sure. The models that Twisby are most well known for are the Twisby Diamond 580 and the Twisby Eco. I'm going to be going through the different models that Twisby has because there are quite a few of them and we often get questions and Neil is going to say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. That sounds so final. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks, Neil. No problem. <laughs> So we are gonna be talking about different models of Twisby fountain pens, and here in front of me, I have their standard models. We have the Twisby Diamond 580 and the Twisby Ecos, the Diamond Mini. These I'll put in like one category because they are the most popular Twisby fountain pens. And then Twisby has vacuum filling fountain pens, which I'll talk about later. And then the newest fountain pens that they've released are the Twisby Go and the Twisby Swipe. And then to my right over here, we have a lot of different limited edition colors that Twisby has released over the years. The first one that I'll start with is the Twisby Diamond 580. This one is actually the earliest Twisby model, or it's sort of like an upgraded version of their earliest model where they started. It has a screw cap. It has a uh, piston filling mechanism to take ink into the body of the pen. And this one comes with a size five nib. Something else that is really kind of neat about the Twisby Diamond 580 is that the nib and grip section are completely removable, which makes it really easy to replace. So if you purchased an extra fine nib and wanted to size up a little bit to a medium nib because you decided that extra fine was just too fine for you, you could do that quite easily. You don't have to replace your whole entire pen. You can just get the nib section. The main difference between the Twisby Diamond 580 
580 and the Twisby Eco are the fact that the resins are different. So the resin on the Twisby Diamond 580 is faceted and it's also thicker. The Twisby Eco model has sort of a flatter resin, so it is less refined looking and the more affordable model all around. The cap finials also are a bit different. The Twisby Diamond 580 definitely has a nicer like metallic cap finial while the Twisby Eco has more of a planar cap finial. And another thing that really differs between these two fountain pens is that the grip section and the nib section on the Eco do not twist off and remove. So in order to really replace this nib, you would have to pull this nib out, which is not um, exactly easy to do. And Twisby doesn't sell just Eco nib replacements. It is a number four nib, which is actually the same as a bunch of other Twisby models that we'll go into later on. But other than that, it is very similar to the Diamond 580, which makes it a pretty popular choice for a lot of people who are considering a Twisby fountain pen. It's a piston filler, and judging from the size of the pens, they're pretty identical. I would say that they holds an equal amount of ink. So um, yeah, this is the Twisby Diamond 580 and the Twisby Eco, two of Twisby's most popular models for sure. Now going off of that, the Twisby Eco was released in 2015 and then one year later, Twisby actually released the Twisby Eco T, which these actually look identical and the main difference is that the Eco T has a triangular grip section. So it has three facets on the grip section and you can kind of differentiate them because the back finials are a little bit different as well. So the Eco has the hexagonal section and the Eco T has a triangular one. So you can tell the difference from that. And that's really a matter of personal preference. Like, do you want a triangular grip or do you want a round grip? But other than that, they're identical. Now, the Twisby Diamond 580 is also quite similar to the Twisby Diamond Mini, which I have here in front of me. Basically, the Twisby Diamond 580 and the Twisby Diamond Mini are very close, except that the Twisby Diamond Mini is just a smaller version, like a pocket-sized version of the Twisby Diamond 580. So the Twisby Diamond 580 comes with the number five nib and the mini, the smaller pen, comes with the number four nib. So that's actually the same nib that is on the Twisby Ecos. Now, the Twisby Eco has the same features that Twisby fountain pens mostly have. It has the screw cap. It has the piston to fill the pen. So you screw here to lower the piston and you screw the other way to draw up the ink. And the Twisby Mini actually also has the removable nib and grip section. So if you twist off on the nib and grip section right there, you can actually just remove that whole piece. And Twisby does offer replacement nibs and nib parts and nib sizes for the Twisby Diamond. So if you wanted to switch your nibs for the Twisby Diamond Mini, you can do that and just easily screw off your nib as well. And then it's made of the same resin as the Twisby Diamond 580 model. It has the same facets on it and it's like a really nice thick clear resin material with the same nice looking cap finial there. So I'd say between the Twisby Diamond 580 and the Twisby Ecos and the Twisby Diamonds, most people are getting those fountain pens when they are thinking about a Twisby fountain pen to begin with. But but Twisby also has some other fountain pens that vary from what you might think of. So that brings me to Twisby's vacuum filling pens. This is the Twisby Vac 700R and this is the Twisby Vac Mini. But what is a vacuum filling pen? So vacuum filling pens are not exactly piston fillers, which was what we were talking about earlier, 
but with vacuum filling pens, what you're basically doing is there is a mechanism to build up some negative pressure in the barrel of the pen. And once that negative pressure is built up in the barrel of the pen, the ink kind of gets like, like sucked up into the body of the pen, which is really kind of a cool thing to watch happening. And it's very like, I don't know, I feel like I'm in like physics class or something whenever I see it happening. What you end up doing is you twist up this back section here and you pull up the plunger and then you push down the plunger and you do this with the nib inserted into a bottle of ink and as you're pushing down, what you'll see happen is the ink gets sucked up into the barrel of the pen. So it's pretty fast, it's pretty um, instantaneous and it happens very magically almost. It's very cool to see happen. With these vac fillers, Twisby has built in an ink shutoff valve, which is basically this back section here, you close it off completely. If you are traveling with your pen or if you're going on a flight somewhere to prevent ink from burping out of the pen or leaking out of the pen, and if you are writing long-term, if you're sitting down and writing a letter or pages in your planner or whatever, you actually wanna twist that back part open and just leave like one millimeter of air just to let it flow and that will allow the ink to continuously flow as you're writing with the pen. So features of the Twisby vacuum filling pens, the 700R and the Vac Mini, are very similar, I would say, to the Diamond 580 and the Diamond Mini. They both have screw caps, so you're kind of screwing it in as opposed to pulling it off with some other fountain pens. Made with a similar, like, thicker, very resistant and sturdy resin. And the main thing that differs between the Diamond 580s and the VAC is the filling mechanism is different. With the VACs, you can also actually remove the nibs. You can screw off the nibs. They screw off really easily and you can replace the nibs. Now, the VAC 700R actually has the largest ink capacity of any Twisby just because like the sheer size of the pen if you compare the 700R to the Diamond, but the piston of the Diamond 580 is actually taking up a lot of room in the barrel that the 700R, because it's a vac filling mechanism, it doesn't really require that much room. So all that extra room is potential for ink storage. So you're able to store that much more ink, but the 700R, bigger pen, bigger ink capacity, it actually gets the biggest nib of all. So this comes with the number six nib. It has the biggest nib of all the Twisby pens. And the vac mini, has the number four nib, which is the same as the Twisby Eco, the same as the Twisby Diamond Mini. Last but not least, we are going to talk about sort of like the Twisby Newcomers. This is the Twisby Go, which was released by Twisby in 2018. And this is the Twisby Swipe, which was released by Twisby in 2021. So very recently, this one. And you'll see the similarity in how these two models look all around, even the finials, and they kind of work similarly too, but I'll talk about the Go first. The Go is sort of the most entry level of Twisby's piston filling pens. So it has a snap cap, um, so it's unique in that it doesn't have that screw cap, and it definitely has like a different resin material. It's lighter than most of the other Twisby fountain pens. And it comes with the same number four nib that comes on the Eco, that comes on the Minis. But what differentiates this one is that the piston mechanism in the Go actually is attached to a spring. And I find this very satisfying whenever I fill it because it's so effortless. You don't have to twist, you don't have to pump continuously, you don't have to squeeze to suction up like you have to with some other converters. You simply compress the spring and then you let the spring go and that action sucks the ink up into the barrel of the pen. So it's really easy and it's probably the fastest filling. Maybe we should do like a timed contest of like 
which fountain pen is the fastest to fill. I think this one would win for sure. So yeah, I really like the Twisby Go and this definitely it has like all of the positive things that you would look for in a Twisby fountain pen. It has the large ink capacity, it has the easy way to fill it and it has you know the fact that it's low maintenance and won't dry out because it does hold a lot of ink and yet it is also its most affordable model this is also the only one that doesn't have a clip but it does have like this roll stop so it just doesn't roll around on the table at all and the roll stop even has like this little loop through it if you wanted to accessorize with your pen. <laughs> and then the Twisby Swipe, which was actually just released 2021. This is Twisby's first cartridge converter fountain pen. And it made quite a splash when it first was released, at least at Yoseka it did, because I couldn't believe that Twisby released a cartridge converter fountain pen. You know, because you, you think that like a Twisby, a cartridge converter fountain pen, and that, and that just means like, instead of being a piston filler, it takes a cartridge of ink or a converter. So this one is not a pen where you're putting the ink directly into the barrel, into the body of the pen. And often with a cartridge or converter fountain pen, you get a smaller ink capacity. So I was a little bit reluctant about the Twisby Swipe, I'll admit. But when you get this pen, it takes the international standard cartridge and converter. However, coming with it is two converters, a spring converter and a typical like twist piston converter. And these are like the biggest converters I've ever seen in my life, as are the Twisby cartridges. So Twisby is like staying true to themselves and giving us all just pens that will last forever, even in their cartridge and converter pen. So just like the Twisby Go, which is a snap cap pen, the Twisby Swipe is also a snap cap pen. It snaps like that. And it has the same nib as the Twisby Go and the Twisby Ecos and the Twisby Minis. So the size four nib. So that is your basic lineup of Twisby fountain pens. I hope I covered um, a little bit of information about each one and gave everyone a good overview about how they're different and how some of them stand out from the others. Now, something else, because you might be wondering like what these beautiful fountain pens over here are, Twisby is really known well for is releasing limited edition fountain pens in special colors. So I just have a small selection of the pens here in front of me, but every couple of months, Twisby will release one of their models, most often the Twisby Ecos or the Twisby Diamond, but every so often they release one of their models in a special limited edition color that will only be available for a limited amount of time. And so that is something that Twisby is definitely known for because they do this quite often, they become quite collectible, and it's fun to see all the different colors released. So these here are actually my two personal limited edition colors. This is the Twisby Eco in the jade green that they released, I think last year in 2021. And this is definitely one of the more popular colors that have been released in the last couple of years. And something else that they did in the last few years was they released these rose gold versions. So in the Eco, um, this is the Twisby white rose gold, which has this opaque white cap and rose gold details. And then in the Twisby Diamond 580, this is the smoke rose gold, which has like a clear, um, a semi-transparent cap and rose gold details. And then in the Diamond Mini, this is the white rose gold Diamond Mini, which is very similar to the Eco, right? So it has like this solid white opaque cap with the rose gold details. And um, these are around for however long they're around for. Sometimes it's one year, sometimes it's longer than that. And I even think recently um, one of the models that was thought to have like been sold out, Twisby found more of them <laughs> in their warehouse and they were like, surprise, these are now available. Um, 
And that's kind of the fun about the limited edition colors with Twisby and the special releases. And that's something that is very um, essential to who they are as a company, I think, is that they're they're continuously doing research on different colors that people will love and how to incorporate that into our favorite fountain pens from Twisby. So um, today we talked about some of the different Twisby models and how they're alike and how they're different. And one of the main differences among the different models is the different size nibs. So we have the Twisby size 4 nib, which can be found on the Twisby Eco, the Twisby Eco T, the Diamond Mini, the Vac Mini, and the Go and the Swipe. Then we have the size 5 nib, which can only be found on the Twisby Diamond 580 and the size 6 nib which can only be found on the Twisby VAC 700R. For, for the most part these fountain pens are all screw to cap fountain pens with a quite a large ink capacity, which is something that Twisby fountain pens are known for in general. The Go and the Swipe are the ones that are the snap cap fountain pens. And for the most part, the ink can be taken inside the body directly, with the exception of the Twisby Swipe, which is a very new introduction to Twisby's lineup of pens. It's their first cartridge converter fountain pen. Some of the Twisby fountain pens come with interchangeable nibs, specifically the Diamond 580, the Diamond Mini, the Vac Mini, and the Vac 700R. So yeah, there you have it. This is our introduction video on Twisby. I hope you all enjoyed it and got to learn a little bit about Twisby um, and at least how to say Twisby. And thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments if you own Twisby pens, which models are your favorite, which limited edition colors are your favorite. Thank you so much. Bye everyone.